So the first stage of carrying out a vehicle detail is the pre-wash. So here I have it in a pump sprayer. Give it a few pumps and spray pre-wash all over the vehicle. Get it completely covered before the first rinse. Helps get any dirt or debris off the vehicle before we go into any sort of contact stage of washing. Then we move on to the pre-rinse. So this is activating all that pre-wash which has been left on there. This get, again gets off all the top layer of dirt and debris before we go into any contact washing. And this is where it will get off any stains such as bird staining, heavy vehicle contaminants, etc. Stuff like that. So yeah, we're blasting all those off before we go in with the contact wash. Then we're going to head into the vehicle snow foam stage. So this thick layer of foam is applied to the entire vehicle. I usually fill up the bottle completely and get to go around the vehicle two or three times, making sure I get in all of the wheel wells, all of the wheels itself, every single body panel is completely covered. And then let that drip off the vehicle, grabbing onto any dirt and contaminants on the way. And this basically takes off again the layer of dirt before you go in with the contact wash. So the snow foam is the last stage before actually contacting the vehicle, as you will see in the next stage. So now I'm going to throw up the shampoo, which is in the buckets. So I actually use two buckets, as you see here. One is for the soap and then one is for rinsing the mitt after every panel. So as you can see here, I go within the body lines of the vehicle, following straight lines, not to induce any swell marks. And then I dip it into the rinse bucket and give it a quick rinse before moving on to the next panel. This stops carrying any dirt or contaminants over from one panel to another and just keeps the whole process nice and safe for the vehicle's paint work. I then focus on the finer details of the vehicle, such as the badges, tail lights, door shuts and windows. So I go around there with the pre-wash and a soft bristle brush, getting all those cracks and crevices just get to get the dirt out, agitate the dirt and then finally rinse it off afterwards. So after rinsing the vehicle off once more and ensuring there are now no contaminants on the paintwork whatsoever, I go in with a snow foam which is a sealant on here. So as you can see, it's making the paintwork bead. I fill this up with 100 millilitres of product and then 500 millilitres of water. This is a diluted product and I spray this over the entire vehicle which adds a little layer of protection and also gives that beading properties to the vehicle as well so if it does rain the water will bead off this makes less mud stick to the vehicle makes it easier to clean the next time and again gives it that nice beading effect as you can see here on the vehicle i do this on every exterior clean so it protects the vehicle and leaves that beading layer for you as well and also apply some shine when it comes to the drying stage Finally, once that layer has been applied, I rinse the vehicle off one last time. This removes any excess of that last product we just put on there. And as you can see, the beading properties of that now, as I'm spraying the water over the vehicle, the vehicle is beading and the water is dripping straight off there. So this is the last stage before going in with the drying. So for the drying stage, I do have a hot air blower, as you can see here. So this blows off a lot of the water from the vehicle. I do this first to get in all of the headlights, tail lights, badges, hard to reach areas such as wing mirrors, etc. Before I then go in with a drying towel to finish off the drying stage. As you can see here, the water is beading away with the air and it all runs off the vehicle, which helps less contact in the drying stage. I then go over it with a little mist of spray here. As you can see, this just is a just bit of a drying aid and then go in there with a deep pile drying towel to give the vehicle that nice, dry, shiny, clean finish. I decided to film this part as I really loved the carbon spoiler on this vehicle. As you can see, I'm just drying it off here and you can see the nice shiny finish that that product leaves on the vehicle as the vehicle is shining in the sun. The next stage of the exterior process is cleaning the wheels themselves. So I have a dedicated mitt for this and also a bucket full of shampoo. I go around with this mitt here, which can get in all the cracks and crevices and the calipers and stuff like that. And just agitate all the dirt around there before rinsing that off. Also rinse between every time that I touch the wheel. Then I go into the wheel with the detailing brush. As you can see here, this is a soft bristle brush. Again, getting all the wheel nuts and sometimes the calipers if they're quite hard to reach. 
And then I go around the edge of the tires with this tire brush here, which removes any old tire gels and sealants, and also any road grime and tar that may have stuck to the tire. This allows the dressing to perform better. And finally, I apply dressing to the wheels, to the tires, as you can see here. So the tire is nice and dry, which helps the finish last longer. This helps protect the tire and feeds into the rubber. And I apply this to all four wheels to give them that shiny look. This is also a non-sling product, so it won't throw up the, the paintwork. It will just look shiny. So this is the finished product of the vehicle today for the exterior valet. I went over it with a microfiber and detailing spray as well. Also cleaned the glass with some dedicated glass cleaner. I'm very happy with how this vehicle turned out. It is a stunning vehicle and a lovely color there, black with the gray wheels and also the gold calipers. And as you can see here, the paintwork is looking in excellent condition. Again, very happy with how this vehicle turned out. Such a lovely car. And again, just showing off the beautiful accents of this vehicle, the carbon fiber spoiler there. And my favorite part of the vehicle is this rear end here on the GTR. What an absolute dream.